Hello everyone, it's Caribbean E. Welcome to the channel. Hope everybody just having a wonderful day. Everything is great and that you are in the best of health. Our current currency now in the Dominican Republic is 56.25 to the American dollar, to one American dollar, 56.25. Also, the president got the okay recently, Dominican Republic, to extend the 12 days to, uh, state of emergency here in the Dominican Republic. Now, did he want more days, Tina? Yes, uh, just like prior, he petitioned for 25. But last time he was at least granted the 15, this time they lowered it to 12. But he does have the right in five days prior to it being, uh, to that date coming up to petition again. So he will, like he always does, seek the counsel of the Ministry of Health, make a determination, bring it in front of the Senate, and then they will vote on whether they want to give the amount of days he wants to extend the state of emergency or less. Uh, the consensus was that he only received 12 because the businesses are putting pressure, the big businesses, mm -hmm. big corporations mm -hmm. that need the economy and the people back to work. Right. Now, um, what is the last thing also we heard about it? Because I, I keep, we keep getting questions on the channel about when is the airport going to open up? Well, okay. I can only offer my opinion because, again, we've not been directed. That's in the third and fourth phase. We are still in phase one. We're about to enter phase two okay. on June. I believe it's third or fifth. But uh, I look to other countries that are near and close to us that have dates, uh, at least tentative dates. Mm -hmm. And so just to use Colombia as an example, just an example, they have tentatively, it's not in, in writing, but they tentatively see Columbia opening end of August. They have more deaths than us, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if I were to gather a guess, and I've said this from the very beginning, I don't think it's going to happen for us until the end of July, beginning of August. And that would be just simply the airport. That would not be tourism in a whole. I believe tourism in a whole is going to happen a lot later. But that's my personal opinion. Right. I've right. been wrong yet, though. But that's my personal opinion. Right. And also, um, that's including in 14-day quarantine, if that's still in effect by then. We'll see. Um, so we have, to, we have to wait and see what's happening. But, um, I, again, I looked at the news this morning, a lot of things that are happening. You've seen the news like I see the news. And um, it's just we got a lot of stuff going on right now. And it's worse than the perfect storm. Because perfect storm, you only had two storms come together and caused a lot of things to happen back in the 1991, okay? So right now, we got the riots going on just about every city. Things are being damaged from police cars, the businesses. But it's like the people are more concerned about their businesses than they're concerned about human life, okay? They're more concerned about the insurance as they, uh, uh, they're more concerned about that than they are about this innocent man lost his life into the hands of a rogue cop. Am I right, Tina? Yeah, I mean, any time you can get such public outrage about some stores being vandalized, which of course should never happen. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. It's, it's, yeah. But like I stated on our last video, and I urge everyone to watch it and watch it completely. We've had those that said, I didn't watch past five, 10 minutes, I'll tell you this. I never will offer a problem and, or talk about a problem and not offer a solution. So watch to the end. Be enlightened. You're the same people that probably turn off the news when you watch all of the negative videos of I, just devastation. Right. But you don't watch the peaceful protests. Right. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. so I've said I said it on the video. I'll say it again. I do believe that this gave the perfect storm, like you said, of availability to those that wanted to incite and stoke the flames of a race war right the okay to do so because they can hide in the dark start trouble destroy black communities destroy black businesses and then who comes up on top right the others and now we watched the news this morning and they were also saying that they believe that other countries are also probably going to follow suit that wanted to come in and cause trouble in America, hey, they got a red letter ticket. You guys are giving it to them. Right. Just, 
getting the right Violence, thing. So. Now, what do you also think about the white supremacy? I, I said from day one, I thought they were up there. They might be walking all covered up, mm -hmm. but they're not there to hold hands and pray. They're the ones that are knocking windows out and starting trouble, and then they know that it will inevitably be blamed on the minorities, right. which it absolutely. absolutely is. Absolutely is. Absolutely is. So last night was one of the worst, okay, in our history of our country. Uh, race riot, everything happening, things going on, people are getting injured. I seen a picture of a young lady who was shot with one of those rubber bullets in her head, and um, she's in the hospital. I hope she doesn't lose her sight. But it's just a lot of things that was happening last night. And uh, it's not like the president is fueling all this uh yeah he's 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 fueling the things that are happening in america so just coming out with a speech the brain calm that's his job he we don't need him to be running to the bunker talking about they got some vicious he's got vicious dogs gonna be coming out along with other stuff we need him to come out and make a speech like that beautiful wonderful mayor in atlanta okay um still tweeting stuff this is a time that we all need to come together as a nation, as a country, and uh, well, and understand that sometimes some people are their own worst enemy. I, I mean, I, I, it, it is what it is. But like I said before, every action calls for a reaction. And also, um, I'm glad famous people like John Legend and some of the other famous ones actually put their money in to bail people out that was arrested because of the protests, bailing them out of jail. And this is starting to spread to every city, okay? Uh, I, think gave, I think it gave up to 200,000, something like that, I heard. I just heard that, that number, to get these people out of jail um, that was participating in the riots um, during this time. Because like I said- In the peaceful protests. In the they, peaceful protests. people that, yeah. In the peaceful protests. And you have a lot of people in the peaceful protests that was, that was throwing gas, tear gas at, because there was a peaceful protest. Basically what they're saying, we don't want you out there at all. We're going to basically do what we want to do when we get ready to do it. So uh, it's just a lot of things that are happening. But you know, like I said, we're, we're in the Dominican Republic this morning. It's peaceful here. There's no rioting going on. And, um, and we're just going to enjoy our day and count our blessings. So like we'll say on the channel, in the meantime, between the time, or as you remember, life to be enjoyed hit that description and notification and keep subscribing it's the best freest and easiest way to support us we thank everyone who's come on board we are almost at a thousand we're getting ready to release the video that you guys have been waiting for we have another one on deck covering furniture prices and uh, stores and availability so that you can look it up and be informed if you're getting ready to relocate out here we stand in prayer and we stand in support of all of our brothers and sisters, regardless of race, gender, in the United States. On the front line of this crisis. So thank you for watching, thank you for supporting us. We we'll give you good, accurate information, okay? And uh, we got some haters, but that's all right, we love them all, okay? Jesus had haters, so, so as, uh, as we. So in the meantime, between the time, always remember, life to be enjoyed. Subscription notification, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.